We blend a monk and we canned it. Hey, it's Brain Muffin back with a beer review. Today we have Monk's Blood, which is 21st Amendment. This is a Belgian style dark ale brewed with cinnamon, vanilla, and dark and, and oak chips and dried fruit. There's no and, so I gotta mess that up. Let's try again. Belgian style dark ale brewed with cinnamon, vanilla, oak chips, and dried figs. No Oxford comma, and it's, I'm sorry, it's required. 100% all of the time, every time. So there's a bunch of archaic looking writing on here that I'm not going to pretend I can read. Um, I guess it's it's English and trying to look like it's not. But anyway, Belgian dark ale. I like Belgian dark ale. Let's see what we got. I make them all the time. Mmm, can definitely smell the vanilla and cinnamon. Bo -bo -bo -bo. Decent carbonation that it's from a can. But it is fizzing a little too hard, a little too fast, and the problem means it's bright tank carbonated, which is horrible. So we have a very dark reddish coloring here, like it's trying to be blood. That's pretty funny. Definitely has dark fruit on the nose. You can definitely tell it's a Belgian style ale. It's a little sweet, a little malty. Mmm, that's good. I'm going to have to, you know, I gave it a four last time I, I checked it in. I may have to do a, another check-in. I'm trying not, not to do non-unique check-ins anymore unless I'm with with people. But that's definitely, I gave it a four before. I think more four and a quarter, four and a half. It gets it a little bit because there's a little, there's a there's a delayed bitterness in there that shouldn't be. And some of it's because of, the, I think, of canning. It doesn't have the foam that it should. It does have decent carbonation, but it doesn't have the foam. It doesn't have a good natural carbonation. It has, looks like it has some. has hints of raisins and apricots. I do get a hint of fig. It just hangs around there. Lots of vanilla on the nose. And this is definitely one that you're going to have warm up. It'll get better. This is 8.3%. The flavor is not quite big enough to have this like with cheese and bread and just be the thing that you're having with friends. So it does deserve a 4. That's four things each a quarter point off. That's one point. So it's four out of five. So I was fair. But definitely nice figs on the nose. Hints of raisin mid-mouth. It has an overall sweetness that's there. It's a little thin on the mouthfeel. In fact, my Belgian porter, that's part of what I'm struggling with. So mouthfeel isn't quite where I want it. Not thick enough. So this was, this was one that I uh, liberated from the Ski Patrol um, refrigerator at the end of the year. I have no idea when this was canned. I don't know if, I don't know how, I mean, for all I know, that thing was sitting in there since October. Uh, canned uh, February 25th, 2016. Wow, so that's been sitting in there. That's two years ago. Well, that may be why it's a bit weak. So, you know, one of the things that I sometimes I, I say on these reviews is I don't really know how well I like canning. But considering this is two more than two years old uh, right now, because we're in March of 2018 as I record this, no clue when I'm going to post it. Um, it seems to hold up fairly decently in the can, but it doesn't feel right. So, again, like I said, my brother claims he can um, taste the aluminum. So considering this is two years old, this is pretty good. Uh, it, and that's probably that explains some of the mellowness. It explains, I think, too, why the fig isn't as noticeable. It's, it's there, but it's been two years and it's not part of the backbone of the yeast. So normally this would be definitely be a beer that you could just enjoy. You could have some food with it, but I would do like white fish, maybe some scampi, so it's light flavored, um, you know, a light salad, you know, like a, with like a, like just with like vinegar and, and um, lemon juice type thing as a, as a back. 
uh, carrots and celery and baby spinach and, and nothing really heavy on the flavors because you want the flavor of this beer to really be what you're going after. And, um, and just that just kind of is a cleansing. So no really heavy sauces, but you could do shrimp cocktails, uh, you know, or just you know, raw shrimp or whatever. I wouldn't do the co cocktail sauce. That may be a little heavy, but anyway. So yeah, to me it's a four out of five. Uh, I've had it before. My opinion really hasn't changed. I don't know how old that was when I've had it. You know, I definitely have checked into it before. 8.3% decent. Um, probably I ought to see if I can acquire a can and a bottle to compare. I, you know, the, the can helps in that no light gets to it. So that's good. I'm just not sold that the can and the aluminum is not going to interfere and mix with the, the alcohol, especially at 8.3%. Now, I could be full of crap. If you have any idea, if you know you've seen, if there's any science behind this, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for sharing this video. Thanks for clicking like. Thanks for subscribing over here. And we will see you next time. Goodbye. Monk's Blut. Oh. I probably need to change those next time, Toby.